Veritasis, even in is to find the sum of the first uh, 60 triangular numbers. Let's go ahead and do the third triangular number here. Uh, what do you know, man? This, this, this thing's working pretty good. All right, now there's clearly six dots here, folks. So this is equal to six. And I bet you most of you have seen the standard pattern. It's a very easy to prove result. This is equal to... There's three rows in this triangle, right? And so this is equal to three times four over two. And you, you, you can prove this by writing a general sequence of numbers like this, I guess, or sum of numbers like this, forwards and backwards, then subtracting them from each other. Believe it or not, it works out pretty nicely. But anyway, this is the pattern right here. It's, it's the rows. There's, it's, it's a three-row triangular number. And three times four, uh, three times the successor divided by two is the answer, okay? Now, we're going to use that fact uh, in a more general setting here. Since this is 60, we're going to exploit um, or use um, summation notation. So it's the first 60. So you see the 60 right there, all right? Uh, that's exactly what's going on here. And uh, this right here is a summation expression for the first, you know, if K were three, this would be one plus two plus three is equal to the six that you see right here, okay? So we're being cautious where there are indexes in, in these summations, okay? Now notice we replaced this summation with this pattern that we saw right here, okay? The number times its successor divided by two, okay? It went ahead and factored the uh, one half out. You can do that because this is just a 60 term summation and, and so by the distributed property you can take the one half outside the the sigma symbol all right now so what do we end up with well we end up with the sum of the first 60 squared values okay and so here's a result that i'm writing down all right uh, this is a result that can be proved by induction and there is actually a way to prove this whole thing by induction without going through all of this okay but anyway let's keep going And y'all, again, properties of, uh, it's the commutative property, believe it or not, that allows us to split the commutative property because you can just rearrange these K squareds and Ks until they're all huddled up together. Okay, that's the commutative property of addition. I don't think that gets repeated very much in math classes these days, but that's why you can go from here to here, commutative property of, of the real numbers. Okay, um, now, so everything's looking pretty good here. Um, we took advantage of this formula right here, okay? You can see we have a 2n plus 1, so this is 2 times 60 plus 1, 121, right? Okay, and then again, this is a, what we've already seen this pattern right here. All right, now, so uh, I took some liberties here. Uh, 2 times 6 is 12, 60 into 12 gives you the 5 that you see right here. Uh, you would have this two matching up with this two. 60 divided by four is the 15 that you see right there. So what can we do with this? It looks like we can take a 61, or we can take a five and a 61 out of here, right? So we can take five times 61. Okay, let's open a set of parentheses here. Uh, and what do we have? Yeah, we got the 121 left here. And we took out everything but a 3 right here, right? Okay. Okay, so um, that's equal to 305. Times uh, 124. Yeah, I got to confess here, I didn't I didn't even take the time to do this. We got this down to a three-digit multiplication, so I went ahead and invoked the calculator here. I think in a lot of competitions, they, would hard, they wouldn't even take off anything if you didn't multiply this out, or they would be negligible amount. But uh, 37,820 is what I've been getting. It's 30, 37,820. And again, um, I, I won't lie and tell you that I did this by hand. I didn't. Uh, but we did at least get it down to a three-digit multiplication. Now compare that. This is a three-digit multiplication, right? That That's the only major computation that happened here. What would have happened if you didn't have those resources? You know, you would, what would you do, man? You would, you would be stuck right here doing 60 of these things and adding them up, right? 
Now, again, there is a, another result. I think it goes like this. Uh, uh, it may be at 61 or 60. Let's see, what is it? I think it's 61 maybe. Uh, yeah, I think, I think another way to do this, and this is something you can prove in a discrete math class by induction. You can do 60 times 61 times 62. I thought about just proving that, you know, and then doing it that way. That's another way to do it, of course. Uh, but anyway, you can do the arithmetic on this. I believe this works out. Uh, yeah, I think so. 60 times 61 times 62 divided by 6 is also equal to this. But I didn't prove the results, so I didn't use it. And of course, that's hypocritical because I also didn't prove this result, and I did use it. But I can prove this one. I've never proved this result right here. All right, y'all, uh, that is the answer, 37,820. Let me come up here. That sum is 37,820. Good night.